Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a quick video because I recently downloaded Final Fantasy X Remastered and unfortunately found that you're not able to set English subtitles with Japanese voices. After searching around for a while, I did find a way to easily enable this, so I just wanted to share it with everybody who uh, would also like to do the same, as I generally like to play my RPGs like that. So the first thing is that this is not a method that I've created, but is something that has been created by XY Freak, and they have posted on the uh, Steam forums for Final Fantasy X, X2 HD Remaster, and provided a download link and some basic instructions on how to do it. Because I want to do this for the Steam Deck, there's some things that change slightly just to be able to uh, run the patcher. Uh, and as it details in here, it's a very simple patch that all it does is edit the executables to point to the US path for um, the subtitles and the JP path for the audio. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download that and I'll leave a link and I think I'll probably mirror it just in case uh, the download disappears and I'll post that in the video link as well. So once you have that downloaded, um, what I've generally found the easiest way of getting this to work because of how the paths work on Steam Deck is copy the executable files to your desktop. Uh, so the way that you want to do this is go into Home after you've launched Dolphin. Uh, you want to go into the .steam. Now, if you don't see this, this is because it's hidden by default. So you want to do View and Show Hidden Files. I've already done that, so I can see it. Go into the Steam folder, Steam again, Steam Apps, and then you'll see Common. This is where generally all the games are installed by default. So if you have got it installed on your SD card instead, the path that you'll be looking for is uh, if you go to RootFS, you go to Run, scroll down to Media, and it'll be this folder here, MMC BLK 0 P1. And as you can see, you'll get your Steam apps here and Common, and then you'll see the things in there. Uh, but for me, it's not in there, it's in Steam. So then what you'll want to do is find these three EXEs here. You'll want to copy those. Let's create a new folder on the desktop. Call that FFX. And we'll go in there and paste them into that. So to patch these files, what we need to do is go to where we downloaded the patcher before. And now we've got a few options to be able to run this. So we can use something called Proton Tricks, which if you haven't got, you can download through Discover. Type in Proton Tricks and install that. As you can see, I've already got it installed. And you right click, open with Proton Tricks Launcher select Final Fantasy X, click OK. Takes a couple of seconds to open. And then we need to locate where we copied the files to before. So we copied it onto the desktop and then FFX that we created. So if we expand this here, we'll see FFX. If we click that and we can click OK. And what it will do, it will go ahead and patch those files, but also create a backup. So it will create .en, files after each one of them. So that will be the backup of the original files. So another way that we can run this is if you don't want to install Proton Tricks Launcher, you can right click and you can say add to Steam. Give it a second while it just adds it. Then we can open Steam, open the library, and it'll add it there. What we'll need to do though, is we'll need to tell it how it opens it, uh, which is with Proton. So we need to go to Manage, uh, sorry, Properties, Compatibility, 
force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and we can select pretty much any version of Proton here. It should work. And close that, and if we click play, it'll tell us it's launching, and essentially we get the same thing. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it with the Proton tricks. So now we have those files. Um, so these are the files that we want to copy without the EN. So if we copy this, we go back into the folder where we originally copied the files from. We paste them in there and it'll ask us, do we want to overwrite them? So we're going to say, yes, apply to all, overwrite. Now, if I am to go ahead and run the um, application. You can see now I've got Japanese audio with English subtitles. Thanks a lot for watching and look forward to more videos. Bye!